talk about October 31. I think everybody will know it is Halloween. And for the Halloween, the first you will think is pumpkin pie and like a mummy, witch, something scary thing. And for the Halloween party, of course you should dress up and to become a scary thing. I remember last year in the BS Halloween party, every student dressed up like a witch, something special thing. And for me, I dress like a pumpkin girls, so it's orange hair and a pumpkin dress. But my, the teacher, Jonathan, he didn't dress anything. And in the student room, we asked him, why you didn't dress anything? We can't understand, it's party, you should dress something. He said, okay, just give me five minutes. So he went to the office and he took one big paper and roll it and put on his head and cover his whole face. And uh, he took some balloon, tied on his body, and he showed up. He said, see, this is my dressing. What is this? Nobody understand. And he said, come on, student, use your imagination. It's kind of beverage. You will know that it's popular. We think, OK, we try to find out and figure out what it is. Then it looks like this. <laughs> and we said, Jonathan, what is this? He said, come on, it's very easy. It is bubble tea. <laughs> this is straw and this is bubble. He said this is the scary beverage he ever had. We said, oh my god. And unfortunately, this bubble tea is the popular drink in my country. And I think bubble tea is an amazing drink. There are three reasons why. The first one, it is famous around the world. And the second one, it, the drink is so good. And the third one, when you're drinking, it is very interesting and colorful. Let's go to my first point. As I told you before, it is famous around the world. Let's, let me give you some example. Like when I talk about Canada, you will think about like maple or maple or like a hockey game, Rocky Mountains, and when I talk about Japan, you will think about maybe sushi and uh, miso soup or Sony, and when I talk about Korea, maybe you will think about kimchi and the soju and the Samsung. So when I talk about my country, Taiwan, the first you will think maybe is Taipei 101 because it's very tall. And the third one is, the second one is night market. And the third one maybe is bubble tea. I think bubble tea is kind of symbol for Taiwan. Like this, this beverage is star, is created uh, from 1980s, so 20 years ago. It's not like a tea, Chinese tea, green tea, and black tea have a long history. But it's a new idea because they use the tapioca, the black one, mixed with the the original is mixed with the milk, so shaking, and you can choose you want the hard one or cold one. It's a new idea, but at the first not a lot of people can accept it. But recently it's become popular. Why I say it's famous around the world? Because it's not only in Taiwan have this kind of drink. Like in Victoria, they have uh, maybe few place to sell it. Like uh, two months ago in German, the McDonald's, they also start to sell the bubble tea. And they say they have 25 flavors, you can choose it. So let's go to my second point. As I said before, it is, taste is so good. Like in summertime, Taiwan is super crazy hot. And it's kind of the degrees around maybe 35 or 39, yeah, or more. So it is not like Canada. It's you feel comfortable and you want to stay outside, enjoy the sun, and in escape the school, escape from the work, and just enjoy the sun and have one beer. But if you are in Taiwan, you just want to stay home and have air condition and lie on the couch, watch the TV, 
we don't want to go to school, maybe because some old school, they don't have air condition. So you will be, oh my god, I don't want to study. So in the lunch time, every student, usually they will go out and look around to find a cold drink. Everybody usually they will buy this kind of big bubble tea because it is cheap. Usually it's around under maybe under two dollars. So and then you have a lot of shops. Not only one store they sell this one. At least have a ten store. So if you don't like this store, you can choose the other one. So in the like afternoon class start, the every the funny thing is you can see every student in that table they have a different kind of drink and every color have is very colorful. So I remember um, so Wednesday they have a three customer come into my restaurant and they are the visitor from London. They saw the white ball, we saw the bubble tea. So they come in and say we want three bubble tea to go. And then he said London also sold the bubble tea, but the price is super expensive. So they can't offer it. So they just come and drink it. They say, oh, it's so good. And they love it. So let's go to my third point. But as I told you before, it is interesting, interesting drink <laughs> and colorful. Um, why I say that? Because for the interesting, because usually when you drink the bubble tea, you should use the big straw instead of the small one. And like the, the cup. Usually we use the black tapioca, but you have a lot of choice. You can you you can choose the thin and white one. It's called jewelry, so it's become a like this big. You can different. You have a different stuff. So and the add tea, so it become a colorful drink. You can choose every flavor you want. And when you drinking, the um the taste like uh, when you have a gum, so it's chewy. So it's a very interesting drink. So for the con so in conclusion, I believe there is no reason why you shouldn't like bubble tea. There are three reasons why. The first, uh, it is popular around the world. And the second one, it is, when you drink it, it is so yummy. And the third one, it is, it is, interesting and a powerful drink. So go and buy one today. Thank you.